for being here. I'm going to tell you why I'm here and what we need to do from here. I am here for my mother, my daughter, all of our mothers and daughters. I'm here for the people who cannot be here and need our voices to be their advocate. I'm here for the many people I met in the last year traveling our wonderful state. Whether it was women who were subjects of domestic violence, or of gun violence, or single moms working three jobs and unable to make ends meet, or families in shelter, or young men and women with shame because of their opiate addiction. I'm here for them and we are here for them. I am here because you are here. I'm here because yesterday was an ugly day. I even tried to make it fun by, at 12 o'clock, being in the woods and howling. <laughs> but you know what? I went to, de to bed blue, and I woke up this morning so full of excitement to see all of you here together! <laughs> and you, we, give us hope for our future. I'm here because this is the largest rally that we think we've ever had in Montpelier's history. And I am here because I know and you know that love trumps hate. Mr. Trump says, said yesterday he wants to put America first. Now let's not forget that this is the very name of a pro-Hitler, pro-Nazi, anti-Semitic group of the 30s and 40s. But let us make sure he knows about our America. Mr. Trump! Our America is one of social and economic and environmental justice. Our America is about diversity, equality, and liberty. Our America knows that women deserve equal pay for equal work and safe and legal access to abortion. Our America includes all genders and gender identities and makes sure that bathrooms are free for all. And safe. Our America knows that love is love and protects marriage equality across this country. Our America stands with people of different abilities, of all ages and races, ethnicities, and refugees. Our America will never turn our back or close our borders.
to let our America be defined by a man who has anointed leaders of his government who are actually opposed to the very agencies of government they are supposed to lead? Are we going to let our America be defined by closing our borders, taking away the rights that we have worked so hard to define and defend? I am here because you are here. We are here because we will not be silent. We will be heard. We all feel it. We can't pretend we don't. But I also have in my life seen that change is possible. I saw it when in 1984 I traveled to South Africa in the height of the apartheid wars where a racist regime was in power and it seemed impossible. But people around this country, around our globe, came together to resist and promote change. And Nelson Mandela was released, the one they called a terrorist. And he was a hero and a uniter. This man, who for 26 years was in prison, tortured, almost died, came out of prison with love and unity in his heart. We know that it is always darkness before the dawn. And while this is a dark time, we are each lighting candles with our voices to break through the darkness for our future, for our kids. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We can be the change.